Here's the question. This is a really complex question. When you're coming to, down to drone, what I've seen is, and I've looked at this in several different countries, Canada and Australia, um, personally visited um, in the UK. To do the extractive process, um, I don't see these companies creating a system of accountability to the citizenship. There's a social contract, right? between us and the government, between us and corporations, which says we're gonna to try to take care of each other to the best of our ability. That's what civilization is about. I see the companies behaving the opposite way. For example, when they come to your front door, like they did to mine, their first uh, order of business is to lie to you. That lie says, we're not gonna tell you about any of the contamination problems, we're not gonna tell you, this is just a fire hydrant and a little bit of fuel. We probably won't even fill it. You're gonna make lots and lots of money. The first 12, when you, I used to be a vacuum cleaner salesman in, in Ohio. I was really bad at it. Um, <laughs> uh, but you learn your first 12 feet, your first 12 words, your first 12 inches. I don't want to tell you this. It has, I mean, it has to do with having like fresh breath. But the first 12, <laughs> don't have a messy car. You know what I mean? Like stuff like that. But here's this image. You're, 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 you're being presented with a package that sounds too good to be true, and it is. They just recently discovered a landman's talking points handbook in Ohio it was dropped out of a landman's car. It said, distance yourself from the film gas lamp. Don't tell them that you're actually doing hydrofracking, slip order hydrofracking. Downplay any concerns. Emphasize that China buys more oil than the United States. Things like this. Um, so they know that they're selling you a bill of goods when they walk to your front door. Even before they get to your front door, there are these advertisements everywhere that say natural gas is clean burning. Mm -hmm. Well, clean burning, sure, when you burn it, but when you, when you look at the film, you look at all the emissions coming off of the well sites, all of that adds up to a greater emissions profile than coal. So the very idea of clean burning natural gas is again, it's the richest thing effect. When you burn it, it's cleaner, but the whole life cycle contributes so much volatile organic compound into the atmosphere that in fact, you're on a par with coal or with fuel. So, so and then you get there and you've signed, let's say you signed the contract which is created by their 300 lawyers and you maybe have one or you maybe don't even have a lawyer. They actually will encourage you not to get a lawyer because they're trustworthy people. And let's say then the, 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 the contractors come over and they just, they just bulldoze huge section of land. You go, whoa, I didn't expect that to happen. And they say, well, I'll call the company. So you call the company, they refer you to their lawyers and to their contract, which you, which they wrote. Because the guy who gave you that deal is, this has disappeared. And then the frackers will come in. That's a whole nother company. So let's say you lease to Chesapeake. Then Halliburton or Schlumberger or BJ Service is gonna come in and they're gonna frack. But let's say they spill or they have these toxic chemicals all over the place. They park 150 frack tanks um, in, your, in your field. And, the manifold wasn't connected correctly and one of them leaked and, and ran down into your stream and another one you got this big waste pit of toxic chemicals and there's a big rain and it lava washes down the side. This sort of thing happens all the time. You call the company and say, well, we have a contract. Those are the crackers. That's not us. The, that's their problem. You've got to call Halliburton. You know, then you get really frustrated and you start to want to appeal to your state legislature. And then you realize that those people are, um, they're, <laughs> They're, they're, they're being hammered away at by lobbyists 24 seven to make the, the least amount of regulation possible. Um, so you go through this whole cycle of frustration. Nowhere in that system is a respect for the landowner between the company and the landowner. It's not in there. In fact, the opposite exists. Once you sign a piece of paper, this whole other edifice comes into play, which tries to crush any opposition that you might have. Um, and people are, you know, we didn't get to this position because these guys are always so nice and forthcoming. They're attacking this film 24 seven. They bought my name, they bought the name of the film. If you Google search my name, you come up with an ad that says the truth about gas and it's put out by the American Natural Gas Association. Mm -hmm. It is a smear campaign, 100%. They've created a video about how everything in the film is wrong. And we can go into the specifics about how they're lying 100% with everything that they're saying about the movie. Um, 
it's almost like there's a poison out there that's more insidious than the practical chemicals. You know, it has to do with their persuasive uh, dollars that go into the, both the media and, and into the government. But what, I, what I'm trying to say is that you don't have a situation where the trust between people and a, car, and a, and a community and the companies is their priority. Their priority is to be legally insulated from any complaints. And there was another document talking about this landmine talking points thing that was discovered at their crackers convention in Pittsburgh in 2008. It was called um, Strategies for Managing Citizen Outrage. And it goes into this whole long explanation about how you know, these are the ways that you're going to contain citizen outrage. Because it's very different. I would encourage all of you to go to Dimmick, go to Bradford County, talk to the people. It's not that far away. Before and after, it's brutal. The regret that sets in of people who have had their farms ruined, their land ruined, their towns ruined, is, and irreversibly so, is um, incredibly intense. And should, you know, it's like you always want to look around the corner and see it before you get into it. So I would say just take a look at the film, because the film is, is the best, the next best way of actually going there yourself. But go there yourself, it's not that far.